Hello, I'm Rubal Khan from KC Tech School, and the following video tutorials have been created to guide you to use VRVEX, a free virtual robotics programming platform created by VEX Robotics. All right, welcome back to my tutorial. This is tutorial four. Um, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the solution for tutorial three, which I post at the very end. Now, just to take note, um, for every tutorial, the, um, the challenge is at the bottom. So when you look at the description under the video, you can see the challenge. I've actually posted the challenge there. And for every single tutorial, I post the challenge at the bottom. All right. So let's go on and look at the solution. So your task was to form, to get your robot to actually walk along the full square so 1 to 91 91 to 100 100 to 10 and 10 back to 0 and then face forward in the default position let's see how this is done this is right now first thing i said i needed a loop and two blocks in the loop so my, let me get my loop now again this is a square so i've got four sides which are the same so obviously would need to repeat four times and what do we need to repeat four times? Basically, I want to go straight all the way. That's my first movement that is going to be repeat, repeated. The second one is I'm going to turn 90 degrees. And if I go straight, one full row or column, whichever way you look at it, turn and turn 90 degrees, if that's repeated four times, I get a full square walk. Okay, let's try that. So drive forward and the full length of the square is 1008 as we figured out before and then turn right for 90 degrees all right and that should get us to just be able to get our robot to walk a full rectangle let's try it out there you go All right, so almost coming to the initial position. There you go, stop. All right, good job. Um, if you guys have managed to do it, uh, I think that was really cool. We're gonna go ahead and learn more stuff, okay? So in tutorial four, we're gonna start to use the pen. Okay, now if you look at the, not this one, sorry. Uh, if you look at the robot, um, it's got a pen. Okay, now before you can use the pen, you need to bring the pen down, okay? Um, so the tip of the pen doesn't actually touch the ground and, until you bring it down. So there, there's, there's an option in the program for you to bring the pen down and then you can select the color. Okay, let's get rid of this. So, okay, and I'm going to change it to a normal grid map. So we, didn't, we don't get the numbers interfering. Okay, and you can see the um, coloring pretty nicely. Okay, let's try and do some drawing or coloring lines here. Okay, so... If you want to do a bit of coloring, this is where you need to go. Go on to looks. Okay. First thing you need to do is move robot pen down, and then your tip is going to touch the surface okay, of the arena. And then you set your color. So if you want a red color, okay, you would want to move it down, and then um, select the color, and then you can start driving. And the pen would also start drawing while you're driving. So if I drove, let's say, forward for maybe, let's say, 600 mils. And then if I pressed play, I should get a red line while the robot is going forward. So it's going forward 600 mils. So that's about one, two, three blocks. Uh, and then you get your red line there. And if you want to take off the red line, you go forward a bit and then draw again. This is how you do it. So you go to looks, and then you move your robot pen up again. And then you can go forward again. Let's do that. And let's say you want to go forward a bit and then draw with another color. What you could do is and then move the robot pen down again. But you got to remember to change your color. 
because your color would still be set to whatever color you had. And now I had blue color for, let's say, another 200 or another 600. So I get 600 mil long red line followed by one square gap and then another 600 mil blue line. Let's see how this works out. Okay, let's refresh, play. There you go, red. And then one space, that's one square space, and then go forward. Okay, so that's how you do this. Okay, now here's the challenge for you. All right, now the next challenge, what you need to do is I want you guys to draw a square, okay, all round. And it has to be, this is how you need to do it. it. has to be red all the way around, okay? So simple challenge, just draw a red square all the way around, okay? Almost similar to the previous one, but you got to use your tools on the looks, all right? So go for it. And then after that, I'm going to give you a slightly harder challenge where you need to do some math, all right? So all the best. I just want a 10 by 10 square, which is red. All right, thank you for listening to tutorial 4. I look forward to seeing you in tutorial 5.